Hello my peregrini friends, I'm quite late with another video and I'm sorry for it. My plan when departing from Belasco towards the east coast was delayed, I got sick in the middle, which I'm still recovering as you may notice by my voice, and all the drivers decided to go to their own places for a recovering moment, excluding Nina Hill who is at the hospital after her last crash. Let's pray for her fast recovery. Now we are here with the chief at the exposition that Ari tried to rush with little to no time. And I believe due to us being not known very much, we couldn't reach many Chiveta owners. So we managed to get just a small collection of six Chivetas. And on the other hand, as we are also sporting an ETK series, Ari managed to find some old ETK models in the city, who are basically just a daily drive, the, a daily car for their owners. So that's, I believe, the rela reliability of a ETK. So let's start with our improvised exposition. Our first car of the day is Ari's own car, or mechanic. Ari came driving from Velasco, so I believe this delay that we had kind of helped helped him arrive in time. So it is an ETK 800, his own daily driver, and it was built by himself. It has a 3.0 liters i6 engine, managing to reach a whopping 284 kilometers per hour. So I just hope he didn't do anything crazy on the roads when driving here. And uh, honestly, the orange color that he chose with the detailed black stripe on the side, I think is very attractive. And well, I'm sure that he likes it. Our next car in the line is the ETK C Series. It was produced between two, 2004 and 2011. And this ETK C Series successfully established itself in the family hatchback market. With its spacious interior, practical design and reliable performance, it quickly became a popular choice for families seeking comfort and versatility. Reading this stuff is very hard. Under the hood, it boasts a robust 2.4 liter i6 engine, just a little bit smaller than the Aris car, providing balance, a balanced blend of power and efficiency. The car features modern amenities and safety features that cater to the needs of everyday life, making it an excellent option for those looking for a dependable and stylish family vehicle. Next and the last ETK we have here today, it is a bright yellow Roadster K-Series. It was produced between 94 and 2001. And this Roadster quickly became a favorite among driving enthusiasts for its dynamic performance and slick design. With its lightweight body and responsive handling, it delivered an exhilarating driving experience that appealed to those seeking both style and substance. Under the hood, it features the same engine as the previous ETK at 2.4 liters i6, ensuring an exciting ride every time you hit the road. The car also boasts a comfortable interior with modern amenities, making it perfect for weekend getaways or everyday drives. Well, it is said here it's called it's um, modern amenities, but it's modern for the time, you know. Anyway, so notably, this model was reinvented into a coupe starting in 2015, which we also have racing. The modern version, but. Well, the modern version of this car is driven by Arthur Walker, Vladimir Agurtsov, Daisy O'Brien, Leroy Balcaran, Nina Hill, who is unfortunately at the hospital, and Reinaldo Cabral. Starting our Civetta part of the exposition, we have a Civetta Mombello, produced between 2001 and 2007. This first model is a factory design, factory design featuring a sleek black exterior complemented by a dark red soft openable roof, powered by a robust 3.5 liters V8 engine, reaching a top speed of 312 km per hour. And we also have a second Civetta Mondello, also a factory design showcasing a striking white body design in a vibrant red, paired with a light brownish soft openable roof. 
house, equipped with the same engine, a 3.5 liters V8 engine. But the wide body reduced the top speed to 308 km per hour. That's not much difference. And however, it increases the stability, providing an increased average speed on the racetrack. Both of these cars not only deliver a performance, but also make a very good statement on the road. Now let's start with our Civetta Bolide. In a pastel tone pink with the yellow stripes, it was produced between 1981 and 1988. This iconic supercar quickly became a symbol of performance and style. And, style. and under the hood of this spe specific model, features a powerful 5.0 V10 Evoluzione engine, delivering accelerating speed and unmatched driving dynamics. With a top speed of 358 km per hour, this model is designed for those who crave adrenaline on the open road. I think 358 on the open road is impossible, you need to be on the racetrack. Its slick design combined with the vibrant color scheme ensures that this car stands out in any setting, including here today. And this model was built by our mechanic Ari, Ari to one of his customers here in the East Coast. Continuing to our next polite, we have a color combination that can only, only be described as well unique. Picture this yellow and wine red. See, seriously, like look at this car. Just by looking at this makes me feel like I'm about to sign my own death certificate. With no protective front window and a top speed of 367, 367 kilometers per hour. Even a fly could give you a bad haircut, like literally. But let's not overlook the engineering marvel that this car is, despite the little oversight. It's powered by a beastly 9.0 liters V24 engine featuring a 24 nose cone, which gives it the charming appearance of having a beard. <laughs> They're talking about aerodynamic style. I have to say, I'm very impressed by this wild design, by this wild ride actually. This particular build was crafted by our, again, talented mechanic Ari for one of his customers here on the east coast and just remember if you take it for a spin hold on tight and maybe maybe wear a helmet coming up coming up now is the civeta cinchilla in a striking metallic blue featuring a very aggressive batmobile like configuration while it may not be to everyone's taste including mine this unique and impressive creation produced between 2020 and 2022 certainly makes a statement. Powered by a robust 4.0 liters V8 engine, this superhero car can reach speeds up to 316 km, 316 km per hour. Although it may not be as fast as it looks, its design likely allows for excellent handling of the track. Thanks to its huge wings, of course. We are thrill thrilled we are thrilled, thrilled, <laughs> thrilled that the owner brought this beast to showcase here today. This beast is another result of our hard-working mechanic, Ari. And our last car of the day, of the exposition, is also a Civetta Cinchilla, specially designed for race competitions with a focus on rear-wheel drive. This is a factory design. This model features a unique body kit that enhances its aggressive stance with a top speed of 313, 313 km per hour. It promises an accelerating driving experience. While I may favor this design, actually I like it, I appreciate its impressive engineering and performance capabilities. I'm really glad that the owner brought it to showcase today as machines like this are often only seen from the stands at racetracks, making this a very rare opportunity to get up close and personal with such a remarkable vehicle. And well, uh, you may not have noticed, but, or maybe you did, uh, the out some car racing in the back. Yeah, it was me. Yeah, I was driving for the first time. The owner of the ETK Roadster brought a second model and uh, he gave me the chance to make uh, two laps on the East Coast track that has been designed for the, the race that's to come. 
so I, I was driving and it was actually really really fun to drive because I've like, actually never drove so yeah I hope you all liked and enjoying enjoyed this exposition it was the very first attempt that our team has made such an endeavor and we just hope that you actually enjoy it this time with us looking at some creations mostly the creations from Ari and I hope that the next time we decide to come with an exposition maybe some other mechanics around and showing their own creations so that's it for today and I'll see you on the qualifiers bye bye